Hello, and welcome back to Sugar Wars. What? That's right, season two of Sugar Wars has begun as of today. More so tomorrow, because uh, this year's Sugar Wars comes with a twist. Now, let me explain what Sugar Wars is. Um, last year, I, for from about March till, uh, I don't know, like, actually, no, it was, it was earlier than that, like November to June or so, I gave up sugar completely. Um, and then after that, I kind of fell off the wagon and, and uh, oh, speaking of which, <clears throat> I wanted to show you what falling off the wagon means to me. This is a vat of Willie's sweet tea, uh, it's specifically an Arnold Palmer. So it's got a little lemon, a little raspberry lemonade. And in the olden days, like when I would drink one of these and by one, I mean, I would order a cup and then get three refills before I left the restaurant, I would do about half unsweet and about, I don't know, a fourth sweet and then another fourth um, with a lemonade. Uh, these days it is about up to, up to the Willie's line with unsweet tea and then I skip the sweet tea and just that much is raspberry. And that's what I'm allowing myself to do because the only time I really go to restaurants uh, now is just on weekdays, uh, work days specifically. I don't really like packing lunch to work and it's nice to get hydrated, you know, because three of those will hydrate you. Um, less so if there's more sugar content, but still. Um, anyway, I just wanted to film this right now because I just got home. My hair's a, a chlorine-y, staticky mess. Um, I look like hot garbage, but I, I had my last swim of the year today. It's, uh, you know, it's getting on it's September 1st, so it's a little chilly out uh, for, for swimming. And our this year, our stupid pool uh, didn't open for in our condominium for about, I don't know, like two months after it normally did. So we missed out on a lot of that stuff. But anyway, so I went for my last swim and my first uh, return visit to the gym. I, I got a membership at the start of the year. Um, I went once in between, so now we're, we're going to try to do it daily. Uh, so that's, that's a big challenge. But what I wanted to talk about a little bit was this idea of, uh, expanding on sugar wars. Um, it's expanding in two different fronts. Uh, first front is for the next, uh, 90 days, basically, um, from September 1st through, uh, November 30th, I am not going to have any um, uh, added sugar with a couple exceptions, which I, one of which I just went over. Uh, another one is, uh, my roommate, Allie, her birthday is on, um, October 7th. So I'm going to allow myself one slice of the chocolate cake I'm going to make her because otherwise I would die a little bit inside. Um, so there, there's a couple things that are like written down, but you know, it's all within like very tight parameters. Uh, another one is alcohol, which I don't drink a lot of alcohol, uh, not even socially. Um, but it's, um, it's easy for me to give it up, I think. So I might as well do it. You know, it's, it's a poison coming into my system. And I know like my brother or my sister would be like, not beer, not wine. Okay, whatever. Um, I just don't need it. So I'm just getting rid of it. I, I recently had a, um, uh, an, an employee come to my store where I work and, uh, he let it be known that he was recovering alcoholic and just show solidarity with him. I went to an AA meeting. And, you know, when you're in that room full of people who wish, you know, they would cut off their left arm if they could just give up alcohol and not even think about it. Like I have that ability. So in a way I want to do this to honor them. Um, even though they'll never know about it because they'll probably never see this channel, but I'll know about it. And then the other thing I want to do is, uh, give up soy for three months. Now, this is, uh, this is going to be extra extraordinarily difficult for me because even during sugar wars, like, you know, I was like bending the rules a little bit to, to allow Willie's tofu, which, you know, chef's kiss when it's done perfectly in that, that orange garlic kind of marinade. Um, and it's about one fourth, the consistency of an art gum eraser you might use in college. Like there's nothing like it. It's so good. But you know, if you eat too much soy, you become a soy filled bitch. And you know, that's one of the reasons I want to wear my, uh, my gym attire, you know, so you can see, uh, my awful you know, bitch titties and, you know, just my just general, uh, unfitness. Um, cause you know, this is kind of the before, the before video, you know, hopefully three months from now we'll have a nice after video, but in between, I'm going to keep you updated on, on how this goes. Cause this is an ambitious project, 
but soy, you know, decreases your testosterone, which in turn screws with a lot of things in your body, like how you process calories. Um, and I just, you know, I just want to see if it's, if I can live a comfortable vegan life, soy free and which it's going to be tough because, you know, it, it, it permeates everything. Like it's in the garlic, you know, it's not just like tofu. It's not just like China kitchen stuff. Um, I'm going to miss China kitchen. I get to have them like two months from now, like once, I think anyway. Um, but there's like, it has all kinds of deleterious effects on the body. Um, many of which are well documented. I encourage you to look that up. Um, but it's, it's everywhere too. You know, it's, it's in the garlic dipping sauce, you know, the faux butter dipping sauce from like Papa John's. It's all, it's all over the place. Um, so I'm going to have to be extra vigilant. I'm going to really have to mind my P's and Q's. I'm going to have to say a prayer to Buddha for KFC not to bring back their, their fried chicken, plant-based fried chicken, because it was goddamn delicious. And I don't want to deal with that kind of temptation. Um, there's nothing quite like a big slab of to of like soy with uh, the Colonel's secret recipe encasing it. Uh, it's just, it's addictive and fantastic and horrible. So going to stay, stay well away of that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be exciting to see. Um, the, I mean, one of the hardest things is going to be trying to adjust my sleep schedule, uh, so that I can get up early and, and work out every single day. Um, I, you know, particularly on weekends, I have to be careful to, uh, you know, manage my time because, uh, Planet Fitness is only open like seven to seven. So if I'm going to hit them in the morning, I'm going to have to like be there, like Johnny in the spot, like right outside the door. So maybe all those times I waited in the car for bad idea books will, uh, will help me out. Anyway, that's about it. Um, that's the update. That's where we're heading and, uh, wish me luck.